Hi, this is Becky with R&B Ministries, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Cambridge KJV Turquoise Reference Edition Bible. This is a red letter Bible. It is the black calf split leather. And this, this is how it'll come. Here's a little picture of the box. And let me set the Bible up here. Well, first let me kind of turn over the box just a little bit, give you an idea. It uh, does have the item number on here, shows you a little bit about what the font looks like, and tells you about the Bible. So, let me set the Bible right here. This is it. Here is the grain. It is a very good, deep grain. It does come with two ribbon markers. It is the gold gilled edges. Uh, when you open it up, which I'll show you, it is just a, a white once you open it. But here's what this looks like. And here is the side. You've got the Holy Bible, red letter, Cambridge. It has slightly raised hubs. And as you can see how I'm bending it, it is a, a flexible Bible. It is the black split leather. And when you open it up, you can see right here. And this... Uh, this is not like the goat skin. If you watch my video on the goat skin, it is not leather lined, as you can hear. But it is a very flexible Bible. It is a very nice Bible. It is a lot less expensive than the goat skin. But, I, you know, it's the words that are inside the Bible. Okay, here, we get right here. We've got our presentation page, we've got our family record. Because it is a presentation Bible, it is a reference Bible also, and I'll be showing you that. Here is our first page here, Holy Bible, Cambridge. This gives you a little information there. It's got the cross reference on it. And right here. Now the font is your old antique number three. It is a 10, 11 point font. Uh, it really makes it uh, easy to read. Uh, nice print Bible. You have your letter to King James. You have your epistle dedicatory. You have your the translators to the reader right here. And let me just kind of zip through that so we can get to the front of the Bible. Of course you've got your books of the Old and New Testament. And then we get here and here is Genesis. Now you can see it's a real dark black on white. You've got your reference column here in the middle. The spacing of the letters in that. It is a very nice Bible to read. Very easy to read. Kind of hold it there for you just a minute so you can take a look at that font. It, it, is, it is really nice. And of course this is a really good paper. It is a thin opaque paper. It turns really easy. Uh, I don't really see much bleed through on it. And let me get over here now. I want to go right to the red letter. Let me get over here. Alrighty, here we go. And right there, let me just hold that up and let that adjust to it. It's a really nice dark red. And in contrast with the black, it really stands out nice. And I'll just kind of hold it there for you just a minute. Uh, it also, um, same as the other Bible, of course they are exactly the same. It does come with your concordance. Uh, which is very nice. Uh, kind of zip over here to the start for you so you can see that. Where it starts at. And you can see the pages just turn this Bible lace flat. It's really nice. It uh, don't have any problems with it. It just lays flat. Um, zip over here now to the maps as I've kind of gone through some of that for you. Here are your maps. They're really a deep, and of course it does have your references here to all your maps, but look at the color on those maps. Now, I want to show you the gilt. 
Um, as I was showing you before, when you hold it up, you can see how gold it is. Very nice. When you lay it flat, it's just white. But that's fine with me. I don't, I don't mind that at all. But, and then, of course, here's a little bit more of your maps. Look at the color. I mean, just absolutely fantastic color on those maps. Anyway, what I'd uh, like to tell you here on your back page, you have your item number here. These are really nice Bibles. I hope you uh, give me a thumbs up on my video. We're going to be doing some more videos of some different Bibles. I uh, just wanted you to take a look at this one. And um, just want to say God bless. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you soon. Bye.